What is up guys, my name is Kyle and uh, I'm doing another commentary. Today it's on Modern Warfare 3. If you guys remember my last commentary was on Modern Warfare 2 talking about Modern Warfare 3. But I'm actually doing this commentary for the Great Mafu also. Now I want to thank the Great Mafu for letting me back on his channel. I want to thank you guys as well for uh, letting me be able to be back on this channel. Because you guys gave me some good feedback last time. I read you guys' comments. Uh, please leave another comment and leave a like just not to help the Great Mafu grow his channel larger. Uh, but just to help me out also. I mean I love coming back to this channel. It's a great channel. Uh, and guys, please check out my channel if you like the content I put out. My link should be down in the description. Please come over and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Anyways, what I want to talk about in this commentary today is Modern Warfare 3. Now, Modern Warfare uh, 2 is what I was talking about in my last commentary. Today, it's Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I'm so excited that it came out. I'm loving this game so far. This seems not doesn't have as many things that make me rage as in Black Ops. Now, some of the things I'm going to talk about in this commentary are, one is the gold camo. So as you guys can see, I'm rolling with the gold camo right now. It's the gold Scar L. Now, I don't know why they changed it to Scar L when it used to be Scar H. I think they should have kept it the same. But um, it's called the gold Scar L. I mean, you unlock the camo at weapon, weapon level 31. Now, I think that's a lot more fair than in Black Ops where you have to be 14th or 15th prestige to get the gold camo. I didn't really think that was fair to the people that don't like prestiging, like myself. I don't prestige at all. I have over a million COD points in Black Ops. So, um, I mean, that was a good thing for me to get. I've been trying to get a million for a long time, but that's totally off subject. Uh, but I don't know why they made it so you have to get gold cam at 14 or 15th. I guess it's to make people prestige, but I don't like prestiging. You prestige and you lose all your weapons and everything just goes away. It's pretty much you. everything you earned up to that point is just nothing. Like, who cares? So I think Infinity Ward or Modern Warfare 3 did a good job at making, you know, the people that don't want to prestige also feel the same way as if you were a 14th prestige or a 10th prestige like in this game of letting you have gold camo. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to prestige. Hopefully I get all the gold camos. If I don't, oh well. Um, but I'm going to try my best. I also have the gold sniper. So another thing I want to talk about is hit detection. Hit detection in this game seems to be a lot better than Black Ops or any other game. Mono for 2 seemed to have a little bit better of a hit detection I think. But um, overall this game is great. Sniping is back. Quick scoping is back. Yeah, man, dude, I love that. All I do in this game is quick scope. That's why I have the gold sniper. It's my first gold gun. And, you know, you don't really ever miss shots in this game if you hit them. You know, the hit detection's great. Everything seems to be there. And I don't rage at the, the hit detection. Like in Black Ops, you know your cursor's right in the middle of their head. And you won't even get a hit marker or anything on them. So, I mean, I love that. And also, my last commentary, I talked about the MOAB, or Mother of All Bombs, or MOAB. <laughs> a lot of names for that. But um, it is confirmed. Now, it may have just been a little myth, I guess you could say, in my last commentary. But it is true. There's videos all over YouTube of people getting Moabs now. And um, what it is, it's a 25 gun streak. So pretty much you can't... It's it's not even a kill streak. Like You don't even have to put it in your kill streaks. But you have to get 25 kills with your guns. Nothing else. Like, you can't use any of your kill streaks to help count towards that Moab or nuke, pretty much. And, um, I, I don't know, that's that's pretty good, because a lot of people didn't like that, but I'm not even going to go for it, I don't think, because that game makes me rage, or not this game, but if I ever did try to go for it, it'd make me rage, just because, uh, you know, I, I rage at games sometimes when I can't get someone, I'm like one kill away, but... Um, enough about me. So the guns. The guns are... I don't, I don't, I don't want to say they're overpowered, but um, the Type 95 definitely is. The Type 95 is a uh, gun I always get killed by. It's one of the worst guns that I get killed by because every time I get killed by a gun, it makes me so mad because it's a burst fire just like the Famas Mono for 2, but it's so much more overpowered it seems like. It seems to kill you with the two bullets when it has three. It seems to kill you with the two bullets instead of the three. I think I just said that, but uh, I, did, I was trying to explain it somewhat different, but I couldn't. So, I mean, that gun is ridiculous. It kills you so much faster. I mean, you pretty much don't even have a chance when they start shooting at you with that gun. And also the MK-14. The MK-14 is a little overpowered. It's a semi-automatic uh, assault rifle, I do believe. I'm not too sure. But that is a semi-automatic. So they did a good job at making that just not a two, like a, a, a fully automatic gun, I guess you should say. It's a, it's a semi-automatic. You shoot. And, I mean, you have to have a pretty fast trigger finger for that. And I applaud them for making it so it's not an automatic. But anyways, guys, that's the end of the commentary. Please check out my channel. Leave a like for the Great Mafu. Peace out.